Yikes! That's not right. Today, we'll look at a stability cage for your Vought. I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching. In order to address rotational instability, Vaughts require either a massive shaft or a top stay. A stability cage can dramatically reduce total suspended system weight over other top stay options. Okay, let's look at the parts we'll need to build this thing. We use half inch galvanized steel electrical conduit and fittings for the cage. STL files for 3D printing are available at torleything.com. The 3D printed cage supports work in conjunction with the 3D printed shaft components. Shown here are specific to the Savonius cigar. We'll need some hardware. A bearing for the top stay, bolts, nuts, lock washers, and wood screws. We'll also use a hall sensor tachometer for tracking the shaft rotation speed. For demonstration purposes, we'll build this stability cage around an Amazon 400 watt alternator. While technically not part of this build, the shaft to alternator connector, part of the shaft components group, is available at twirlything.com and Thingiverse. The bottom cage support is built heavier than the top. First, insert three arms, turn over, and mark for drilling. Then drill all three, reinsert, and affix with three number 10 half inch wood screws. Not too tight. These are only there to restrict pull out and counter the strain of guy wire attachments. Okay. Let's mount the lower cage support. Align the tachometer hole over the access port in the lower frame. We'll add the tachometer after securing the base. The hull sensor tachometer will track the shaft rotation speed. Let's add the inside elbows. Torque down the screws and make sure the angle is right. Work your way around, making tight all connections. The shaft shown here is for demonstration purposes. Your shaft length would depend on your wing set height. Now we'll put together the top cage support, just like the bottom. Mark drill, set, and screw. Okay, let's press in the bearing. It's easier to do this as soon as the part comes out of the printer. After the part cools, it'll take a bit more finesse. Make sure it's well seated. The hole in the top allows for maintenance of the bearing. The top cap keeps water out of the bearing. Secure with bolts, nuts, and lock washers. Don't over tighten. Make snug only. I'm holding on to a paper towel because I managed to injure myself off screen. Can't be avoided, I guess. Okay, let's put the cage verticals in. Make them tight. We'll set the top cage onto the shaft bearing adapter, then set the verticals into the lower L's and tighten them well. You can see how the shaft rotates within the cage. Notice the bar magnet glued to the turbine shaft connector. Also the tachometer is zip tied to the mounting bolts. 
half inch clamps secure 1 16th inch steel guy wires with loops and crimp connectors. Turnbuckles secure these with eye bolts to some secure point. You can see here on the fence. I hope this helps you out in your project. Let me know how it goes. I'll talk to you soon.